Hello everyone, this is Neronium. Welcome back to Fable Anniversary. Last time we ended up doing our swordsman skills. I'm test. the skill grader. Can you let me get to the archery range, please? No, you will let me go now. Oh, these bloody Who are you? I need someone to kill the sparrows nesting around the guild. Disgusting vermin. Those damn sparrows are making a right mess of the guild. Just look at them. I'll pay you five gold for everyone you kill. Just come and see me every time you kill another one. Uh, this is actually an evil quest, so we are not going to be doing that because I am not evil. Plus, I can barely see the birds. But what we are going to do is we're going to do the archery skill test. And hopefully get an A plus. Archery grading. Any apprentices for archery grading? Now the guildmasters asked me to grade everyone's archery skills. Oh, and if you get an A test. plus, you'll receive a special prize. Ooh, I like You've special got one prizes. Minute starting when you fire your first shot. Oh, thank God. Right. Let us pull back and release. So I don't know what the point requirement is for this one, but I figured, okay, if we just go past the amount of points that we have, uh, which was 251 last time, then we should be good, right? And oh, I miss. That was superb. Oh, I miss. That was superb. That almost went straight through. There we go. Wow. You, you set a new high score. Wow. I oh, ain't never seen any better than that. You've got an A+. Plus. The Wait. guild master said if anyone shot brilliant, I could award them this. And we got the U crossbow. The flexibility of U makes good wood for crossbows as well as long bows. So, we all have a crossbow Ooh, now. That was some fancy shooting. So now we can take the crossbow and do whatever we so wish with it. But here's me looking up saying, is that a good quest or is that a bad quest? Probably a bad quest. Because you gotta kill little sparrows. Little versions of ourselves from the second game, which we don't want to do. So, while I'm doing this, um, after this episode, we're going to be having regular commentary. The main reason why I didn't do live commentary for the intro is because I was just having so many problems with the A button thing and I had to reset a couple of times. But now. We need to go to where Ooh, the guild master. Wow, rubbing it in even long after the test is over. There's just the will left to learn. Okay. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these straw dummies with lightning. All right, let's see what you've got. So, you press and hold RT to access your will powers. Available power will be displayed at the bottom right of the screen. You can power can be accessed with the B button. Use your lightning power with B. And... Trying to hit the B button. That's expression. Zap, zap, and zap, zap. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. You won't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, 
and once used, it takes time to replenish. Okay, so quickly switch to another target by pressing and releasing right, uh, left trigger. Zap. 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 You have to hold B longer than just tapping it. Excellent use of magic. Well done. So, we're done. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. Okay. So do you want to continue the next stage of training or into adulthood or play with Whisper first? We'll play with Whisper. Very well. I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. All right, and like before, there is a will test person as well. We just have to wait for them to come by. Here they are. Just let me get to the will area, and I can grade you. Oh boy, grading. Ooh, that was some fancy shooting. Do 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 to interact with people using expressions, these simple actions can be used with the D-pad. New expressions are acquired through changes in alignment, renown, and in other areas. You've That's got will. 30 seconds once you first cast lightning to hit as many targets as you can. There's a special prize for A-plus students, you know. I do like special prizes. So what we're going to do is we're going to... Zap, zap, it is. We're not going to zap you. Go a little bit further. Will in this game is a little different than how it was handled in Fable 2 and 3, in that it can chain together if you're not careful. So. And we got 20. That's astonishing. Bloody hell. A plus. The guildmaster said to award these items to anyone who excelled at the will test. And we got the will potion, a mind expanding will boost. The resurrection vial. Death need not be the end. Resurrection is possible with this. I still haven't seen anyone perform better than you. That's right. I'm the best around. Ain't nothing ever going to bring me down. Now let's go to the Guild Woods and see what Whisper wants to do. So, let's go to the Guild Woods. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the Guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. All right. Boop. 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 And try one more time. There we go. We did it. Did you see the look on their faces? No. Wait till the guildmaster hears about this.
And there we go. That actually completes everything right there. I want what's right there, but I can't swim. I learned how to be a hero. I did not learn how to swim. So, let's go back to the guild master. And then we will take our final test. You really showed Whisper. Wow, Whisper. Shouldn't you be practicing your will ability? I already did. I got an A+. Because I'm that good. Let's go to the map room. And who are you, Dylan the shopkeeper? You sure like to try something to suit you. So we got the Bowerstone guard hat, not whole guard hat, villager shirt, leather chest piece. Basically, you have armor in this game. So, unlike Fable 2, which where, where it was pretty much just entirely cosmetic. And then you obviously have the different weapons that you can do. So, keep that in mind. And you have to have certain levels required in order to be able to wield Ooh, certain weapons. Little scrot. Excuse you? Sorry, I'm too poor. So, let's talk to the Guildmaster. So, let's leave our teenage years behind and progress to our final training. If the A button will work. A button. Why aren't you working? There we go. The boy mastered the skills quickly, but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, there is one final test you must complete. Enter the guild woods and go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Okay. And if you look around, there are still the people who can grade you. You'd also beat up Whisper again if you so wish, but we've done pretty much everything that's here, so. Let us go to the Guild Woods once more. I suppose you're wondering how you pass the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. I got a katana. Owie. You're getting better at this. Good. You're quick. Very good. Now. Shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Well, I got a uh, crossbow. I hope that counts. Oh, I actually damaged him. Ex 
Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. That's enough. Yes. Quite impressive for a novice. You will find real battles rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guildmaster. And there we go. We graduated. Oh. So, fun fact, I'm using a third-party Xbox controller that has two extra buttons, and it seems that two of the buttons are mapped to different things. I'm still trying to figure out how exactly to put away weapons. But, now that we're done, let's go and graduate. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. These are dark times. The shadows of Albion are stirring and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of now, take your guild seals and adventure form as heroes. It's time for you to leave us then. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Alright, there's the light. So, we can get our physique. Physique dictates the force and... Okay, fine, I'm not gonna read. Healthier you are, the more damage you can take. Your health attribute. Toughness is basic resistance to damage. Your natural armor. The tougher you are, the less damage you take. Uh, so with greater strength comes the ability to wield heavy weapons. So I can get strong. I can get healthy. Or I can take a punch. I am the person who generally likes to take a punch. For the strength section. I get physique up first. For toughness. There is little else for me to teach you. But I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You will also notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. And the graduation. We got two resurrection files, a lamp, two health potions, a will potion, apple pie, zero guild, 58 renown, 611 experience, no boasts taken. To take a quest, interact with the map table. Core quests are highlighted with the uh, Check the guild icon. For more quests. Okay. So, as you can see. If we look at the map table, I'm trying to hit the bottom. So we've got the Wasp Menace, Snow Troll Attack, Suppress, 
suppress uprising and a minion camp in different parts of Albion. So we will be doing that in the next part. We'll be doing actual missions for everything. But first things first, I feel like taking some books. The Creatures of Albion. Balverine Hobbs. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. The arena. Nothing of interest. The Book of Creatures. The dragons. Many dragons lived in Albion, but the old kingdom huntsmen killed them for sport. The survivors fled to the mountain in the north wastes. Interesting. Tale of Twinblade. Heroes, good or evil, need self-discipline. And Twinblade, a young, powerful swordsman, was no different. After graduation, he stopped taking quests. Hmm, already a bad sign. The Northern Wastes. Nothing of interest. The Old Kingdom. Creatures of Albion 2. The Other Land. Who's that then? It's me. What? Your former classmate. But anyway, everyone, I'm going to end it off right here. Quest this has been Neuronium. Next time, we'll be going and doing actual quests now that the tutorial of Fable Anniversary is done. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out other games in the Fable series, check out the top link for a playthrough of Fable 2 done on the Xbox One. And if you want to check out another RPG that graced the Xbox, check the bottom link for a playthrough of Fallout 3, done on the Xbox One X.